Hello friends, it's Running Kimono and Wednesday chat video for you. I know a lot of you enjoy these story time chatty chat kind of videos and I thought I would make one today. So I've been seeing a lot on uh, social media. I also have people that write to me every so often about this problem um, where you have somebody, family, friend, workmate, somebody from your church who comes over to your home and they're like, oh my gosh, look at the store that you have in your basement and I want to shop at your stockpile for free. And um, it depends how close you are to the person. Um, this can be one of two ways where you just absolutely don't mind and you just want to, you know, bless and help somebody out. Or it could be one of these situations where you are not comfortable uh, with it. And I think all of us have that one relative who shows up and then they open a a bag and then they just fill it up and they're like, see you later. And that's just a weird feeling. You really feel kind of used and it's not cool. But even if you got everything for free, guys, it is still your possession, your property that you get to decide what you want to do. If you want to donate all of it, if you want to use all of it, if it's something that you know you really need in your household because you use a lot of it, that is your choice. Nobody else is to make. And these snide comments of what are you going to do with all this stuff? Who cares? It's your stuff and uh, nobody's decision other than yours. And a lot of us, the longer you coupon, the larger your stockpile is. And I think sometimes when non-couponers come over to your home and look at your stockpile, you know, their jaws on the floor, one of two things, they'll be like, can you explain how you did this? I want to learn. Um, or they'll just say, can I have the following? Some people might even offer to pay you for certain things. And I think there's certain people in our lives, if they wanted anything from your stockpile, you would just give it to them. For example, if my mom needed all of this dish soap, I would hand it all over to her. Um, pretty much my entire life, she's given the shirt off of her back to everybody. And she's just that type of person that I would, you know, if she really needed something, she can have all of it. Um, and no ifs, ands, or buts. It's just the way that it is. But other people, like my husband's third cousin that we met once at a wedding, and if she came over and she wanted like everything, I, I, I would, it would be a hard and fast no. One dish soap, that's it. And that's not me being a jerk <laughs> or difficult. It's just that I don't know this person. And yeah, one is more than enough, you know? Um, and that's just my rationale. And not being greedy, but I just get to decide who gets the stuff or not. If it was my husband's absolute and total best friend, this third cousin, you know, I would probably just say, whatever, take whatever you want. But most people would just grab one or two. Um, but sometimes you get people that will um, show up and fill up an entire garbage bag. Um, a really good friend of mine who lives in Lansing, who's also a couponer, uh, ran into this a couple years back where she had um, a, a very large stockpile in um, her boyfriend's basement. And his mom and a couple of her friends showed up and filled up three massive hefty garbage bags and she was not she was not home and she never offered it up it was just one of these things of take whatever you want it's always been the thing but from taking one detergent or two detergents to just filling up an entire um, garbage bag it was very disheartening when she came back the whole stockpile was mess and the stuff that she really wanted such as toilet paper gonzo so I mean that's just really hard to deal with and you just end up in these awkward situations sometimes where non-couponers think that we get this stuff for free all the time. And just to throw this in your back pocket, guys, it is absolutely okay to say the word no. So you might want to just say it out loud with me. No. Very powerful word. And it, <laughs> and it is okay to use the word no. And because this is your hobby, there's just this misconception that we walk into a store and everything is handed to us. There is no fighting. There is no getting in touch with customer service. There is no tap dancing for your Walgreens cash that didn't, you know, work or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of angles to this where sometimes it can be a very frustrating day at the store. And the longer you are a couponer, the easier it gets. Um, but sometimes it's very, very frustrating, especially if you have like, you know, sometimes I don't like talking on the phone with customer service. It's very hard for me to call. So sometimes that's really hard for me to psych myself up to make a phone call for something that's missing, such as, you know, Rite Aid bonus cash. Ugh. You know, it's just one of those things. Um, you can always offer to to teach uh, a family member, friend, if they see your stockpile and they're like, oh my gosh. And if they're, you know, just 
at home doing whatever and they want to learn this uh, with you on a Sunday and you're going to show them the ropes even to do little digital deals over at like Dollar General or Walgreens um, by all means that's one thing I would offer and if they're just like well I can just take the soap instead of going to learn that's when you throw this line would you rather have a fishing pole or one fish well if you have the fishing pole, you can always, you know, reel in 12 per year, 12 palm olives, as opposed to just getting one. So, I mean, if this is somebody you really care about and you want to show them the craft of couponing, you know how it works. And it would take next to nothing to download another account for them on their phone and then just show them the ropes, you know, very easy. And uh, that old uh, fishing pole and fish analogy is it's wise. And it's, you know, one of those things that you sometimes offer and then people will think and say, OK, I really want to learn. And they really have to want to learn as well. And um, another thing that you might hear is um, my favorite excuse of all times of people saying, well, I'm just too busy to learn how to coupon. I'm too busy to do this. You know, I could do all of this if I wasn't old. I could do all of this if I had time. I could do all of this if I didn't have kids. I could do all of this, you know, if I wasn't working. How many of us can check every single box where we're busy moms, busy this, busy that, busy with 15 jobs, but we still make it happen because we see the importance and value of extreme coupon so just if they're so busy you know how do they even have time to tell you that they're busy <laughs> it's just one of those things this gets on my nerves so much when somebody sees my stockpile and they're like I'd love to do this but I don't have any time but you have time to stand in front of me and tell me that you don't have time so what kind of time is that uh, it's one of my little pet peeves but I know a lot of you probably have larger family gatherings this um, summer or fall and, you know, people will be showing up that you haven't seen in a while or you might be entertaining some more. And when they see your stockpile or see, you know, all the tide in the world or, you know, a large amount, um, if everybody grabbed five, you wouldn't have a stockpile anymore. So just keep this in your back pocket. Um, I know a lot of us nice, sweet ladies, you know, you want to do anything to help others. Um, but, you know, if it's somebody who you really don't know or your husband's workmate's wife who wants everything and just wants it, but not even to offer you like a cent. And sometimes people, you know, do a trade or whatever. But sometimes that's not cool when somebody's like, I'll just... I just want to shop here for free. I mean, I want a million dollars, but that's not happening as well. So it is okay to just practice the word no, or just you get to pick or pick the terms of here's one, you know, and that's more than enough. And I know a lot of you are generous and you just have an issue with saying the word no or being assertive. And it's easy to say, you know, when you're typing in comments here on YouTube that, oh, I'm very assertive. But sometimes when you're in these situations and things are moving really fast, the word no is really hard to say. So maybe again, just throw this in your back pocket. You will be shocked. The larger your stockpile grows, the more you learn this hobby, you're going to amass a lot and everybody's going to want something for free. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.